I've got five powerful drum fills for you, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, CJ here. In this video, I'll show you five, that's right, five powerful drum fills that are really easy, so if you're a beginner, keep watching this video. Even if you're a pro drummer, maybe you'll get inspired by this too. Okay, so all of these fills are half measure fills, which means they're only played on the last two beats of the measure, not all four, which makes it a full measure fill. The first one is a classic, and we're talking, of course, about the Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. This fill works everywhere, in every genre, in every feel. You can play it straight, you can play it swung, it just works. It's really versatile and it's also super simple. The first beat, or well, it's actually the third beat, but you know what I mean. The first beat starts with right, left, right, left, with accents only played by the right hand while you play ghost notes with the left hand. And the second beat is right, left, right, all accents. Note that there's a 16th note rest on the uh of four, so it's four e and a uh, one. Right, left, right, pause one. Let me show you slowly. You can also go around with this fill on different toms to make it sound more versatile. And to make it sound a bit funkier, you can add a drag with your left hand instead of playing ghost notes. Let me show you. Next up is a typical rock fill that is not only easy to play, but it's really heavy and oh so powerful. It's almost not fair how simple it is. This fill consists of just flam, kick, flam, kick, flam, kick, flam, kick. That's it. As I've mentioned in a previous drum lesson, which you can find right here by the way, if you don't know what a flam is, a flam is basically two hits with your hands that are really close together. Kind of like the drummer's way of imitating two people clapping at once. Let me show you the entire fill. This fill can also get way more effective when you start mixing up the toms as you play the fill.
Okay, this next fill can be a bit more difficult, especially when you speed it up, so take it easy. This is just like playing right, left, right, left, but instead we play right, left, right, kick, right, left, right, kick, and then you crash on the one. And if you're not used to these kinds of fills, it can be a little bit tough in the beginning, but you'll get there. Let me show you slowly at first. As with the other fills, try and play with your hands on different drums and see how it works out for you. If you're still watching at this point, I'm proud of you. The fourth one is really funky. This one can be a bit tougher than the previous fills, so bear with me. This fill is right, left, right, but when you play the last hit on the right hand, you play it together with the bass drum on the open hi-hat. And for this fill to not sound washy, make sure to close the hi-hat as soon as you start the second beat. Let me show you at a slow tempo. As always, play it around the kit. And last but not least, let's get on with our footwork. This fill is kind of like a beginner's guide to chops. The sticking for this fill is right, left, kick, kick, right, kick, left, kick, one. Let me show you. As you start building up the speed, it starts to sound like a really cool gospel drum fill.
I hope you got a fun lesson out of this one and that you got a new arsenal of drum fills for the future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. If you want to check out my brand new channel, 30 Second Drum Lessons, click this right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and good luck with your practice. I'll see you soon.